Julie Waldorf, JulieWaldorf.com, and I have Rusty here. So, Rusty, tell me, what do you think about marriage? I think it's wonderful. I've been wanting to get married for a long time, and I think I finally met a woman that I'm considering. Oh, really? Really? And do you think the, what do you think about marriage? So, you think it's uh, institute, do you think it's like uh, uh, a good thing for men and women, or just men? I, I think one of the most serious things about marriage is when you have hard times, if you get married, you love each other enough to when the hard times are there, it lets you be able to take care of each other uh, during those hard times. Because if you have hard times, you're not married, you can't take each other in the eyes of the government. You can't go into the hospital and see your mate, even if it's your mate, unless you're married. You have to get permission from all kinds of people in order to go into the hospital. You can't take care of her, her needs financially and her needs for the banking and all kinds of stuff if you're not married. And if, if, if you, either one of you are incapable, um, the bills have to be paid and all kinds of things to be done. You can't do any of those things unless you're married. Why is that? Um, the Why? banks don't recognize you unless your name is on the account. The hospitals, when my wife was dying, mm -hmm. um, the hospitals wouldn't let me come and see her. You're, you know, you're kidding not, me. You're not next to kin and you're not her husband. Okay? You're kidding me. No. And so, um, when, what a when, nightmare. When she recovered, right, uh -huh. we got married, uh -huh. and the next time I was able to go in and out and take care of her as needed. But wow. sometimes you have to make decisions for each other, and if you're not married, you can't make a decision for the other person. And the decision might be just a, a small thing as um, helping with um, uh, do, do um, you get a blood transfer or not, mm -hmm. you know? And if, if you're not capable of answering that, and uh, you have to, then they have to find somebody that's next to kin to answer that. If they're next to kin or out of the country or in a different state or out of town or whatever, and you have emergency, um, there's nobody to look after your need. So lo and behold, the eyes of the law looks at marriage like you're one, besides uh, in the eyes of God you looked at like you're one, but in the eyes of the law you looked at like one too. In the eye, eyes of the law, um, your mate has permission to look after your interest if you're ill. Right? Wow. And it has to be a mate that's uh, uh, legally married to you. And then you trust the person you're married to in order to take care of you because that's why you marry them. Yeah. You know, to not only take care of you, but love each other. You love each other, take care of each right. other. So, all right, well, all right, honey. <laughs> don't believe everything I say. Well, I don't know. It's just, <laughs> I that's have a different. That was a totally <laughs> out different outlook for I, I haven't heard that one before that, that is that's a wild in, wow in, that's a reality out there for people that yeah, is a reality in, in our age it's a true reality and in seniors ages uh, you don't need to get married um, for a relationship with each other you need right. to get married if one of you become ill and if you like that person well enough and you want to look after them particularly if they don't have a family member close by to look after or somebody that they trust uh -huh. you know and if if, if, if if I'm your, if you know me well, uh -huh. you would know that if, if all of a sudden I have a bad accident and I have to be put on a breathing machine to live the rest of my life, mm -hmm. you would know that I wouldn't want that, right? And so you could pull the, pull the plug mm -hmm. legally, say, hey, Rusty wouldn't want that. Um, you'd be rather to, to um, go feed go the earthworms, yeah. right? Go naturally, yeah. But if you weren't, right, you'd mm -hmm. have to go to court. You would have to go to court and convince the court that the kind of personality I had would be one that wouldn't want to lay there like Reeves. You remember Reeves? Superman? What a nightmare, yeah. That's, yeah. That would, that's a nightmare. Right. Yeah. Wow. Right. So was mar Reeves married? So, <laughs> I mean, that was horrible So marry too. your sweetheart. That. Marry her as soon as she'll say yes. Give well, her all you that you have, all your riches, your diamonds, your gold. Dig up what you have buried. <laughs> Find the real estate that you have in the Cayman Islands hidden. Go, Find the bank accounts. Go to the beach and get your shells out. <laughs> Share that all with her. And then if she spins it all and you die, you'll die as a pauper and you'll be too sick to go to the hospital anyway. And you'll <laughs> die under a bridge. That's funny. <laughs> all right. You wouldn't have the money to be put on a breathing machine. Well, so there you go. They There's just say, the how do you always do somebody that's By the way, been today... Been there, done it. You've been there, done it, huh? We've been picking avocados. We've picked about uh, 20 avocados off the tree. Nice, great big ones. 
Yeah, honey, you're, you're getting off the subject of marriage. <laughs> I right. got it. This is my... <laughs> Adios. Ciao, ciao. Julie Waldorf, juliewaldorf.com. Ciao.